What's going on everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in my hand is the brand new Huawei P40 Pro. And I've been using it for over 10 days now and there's so much to love about this device. Let's take a look. Okay, let's start with the design. So this is a silver frost version, which comes in a nice frosted finish on the back. And even the camera array is one of the better looking out there, in my opinion. It's nicely laid out, looks really good on the back, nice color contrast. And when you shimmer it on the back as well against light, you get that uh, dual tone color going through it. This is something that Huawei are really good at when it comes to designing their smartphones. Flip it around on the front, uh, you notice the curved display. So this is actually a quad curved overflow display, meaning you get a big real estate when it comes to wide the display that you have available to you for consumer media. Uh, so for example, it's also curved in four areas as well. So the top, the bottom and the sides as well. And it's very smart because what they've done is those bezels, the thin bezel is curved on the edge. So you hardly notice them uh, when it comes to actually using the device on day-to-day -day basis, which I really like, especially when watching movies, uh, it doesn't really uh, intrude in that sense. Or when even gaming as well, it looks really good. One thing I also love is they kept that IR blaster on the top, which most manufacturers don't do anymore. And uh, yeah, it's, it becomes very useful uh, more than you think uh, you would actually use it. Back to the front, you have a 6.58 inch uh, display there, which has a resolution of 1200 by 2640. So with this, you get 441 PPI. So the colors are really good. It's very sharp. Uh, there's no complaints there at all. So from my experience so far within this last 10 days, I've been enjoying watching movies on it, playing games on it as well, reading the uh, news on stuff on there, going on Instagram, all that kind of stuff that the display really relies on. It doesn't stop there though. You also got a 90 Hertz refresh rate in that display as well. So you can step it down to 60 Hertz, but at 90 Hertz means you get a nice refresh rate when scrolling through websites, when gaming, especially fast paced uh, gaming environment like racing game or fast uh, first person shooting game, that kind of stuff. It looks really good on the display. Next is the user experience for me. So this is running on EMUI 10.1, which is based on Android's 10 uh, operating system, which means with this, that skin looks really good. It's very smooth. You go all the way to the end, you got uh, new services there as well. So you can see the latest news as you would normally come back out. You got your applications, you can do app drawer as well. So if you swipe up, you can easily see all your applications there laid out alphabetical order as well. Uh, with, with your latest applications at the top that you use very often as well. Really easy to find when you go into settings, things are easy to find as well. So you, it's very nicely laid out. That's something I really like about the Huawei P40 Pro. This is running on Huawei's mobile services. With Huawei mobile services, you have a few things that's included in that services. So you got your browser, uh, you got music, you got video, you got your cloud services, you got Huawei wallet, you even got a personal assistant and the new voice assistant, which is Huawei Celia, uh, which I'll just show you that as well. And uh, you got themes available as well and the app gallery, which I'll delve more uh, a bit into just in a second. With this stuff, with music, you got a wider range of library available to you. It's got loads of songs and playlists and stuff that you can purchase on there. With video, it's the same. Uh, you can rent videos, you can buy them as well. You got cloud services, which means you can back up your devices. And if you have other Huawei devices like a laptop, you can synchronize uh, your, your items like photos, your browsing history, all that kind of stuff, which can become really useful for productivity. You've also got Cilia, which is pretty cool. So by just pressing an old, holding that power button for a few seconds, it comes up with your voice. Or you can activate it by going, hey Cilia, what's the weather like today? The forecast was slightly cloudy in Brixton today with a high of 13 degrees Celsius and a low of four degrees Celsius. But it looks like things have changed. It actually is cloudy. There you go. So it's really nice and uh, very quick as well. As It's actually very impressive the way they've quickly come up with this and made it work really well. Every, elsewhere as well with that operating system and the user interface, what you've also got is you can swipe uh, with gestures as well to go back and stuff. You can swipe up to go back out. So for example, if I'm on there as well, for example, you can go do that to go back out. It's very responsive. Or if you want to run multiple applications, you can just press and hold this uh, the side. You can select the applications you can add to it. You can drag from the top to the bottom, add two different applications running at the same time with no issues there at all. And that's thanks to that Huawei uh, processor chip in there. So it's running on Kirin uh, processor, so the latest one. So in here you would have a Kirin 990 processor, 5G as well. So again, with 5G uh, uh, services on here, it means you get fast data. And also it's very global in terms of places they can use it. It supports Wi-Fi 6 as well. So if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router at home, again, that's very important for making sure you get the best signal at home as well. For the battery life, you are gonna get 4,200 milliamp hour battery in here, which lasts 
all day. This is something that Huawei's nailed from the start. Uh, fast processor that's also very power uh, efficient and a processor in there, uh, a battery life in there that would last you more than a day. If they are not over a bit, loads of screen on time and you've got fast charge as well. Out of the box, you get 40 watts fast supercharge. And uh, also you can also get that with a wireless charging as well. So for wireless charging, you can get 27 watts of wireless supercharging here as well. Once you take it out of the box as well, you can move over your current applications from a previous device. So using phone clone application, uh, which is already preloaded on here, you can easily just load up uh, previous applications, contacts, uh, phone book, all that kind of stuff, uh, browsing history. You can move them over from previous devices. You can move it from another Huawei device, another Android device, or if you have uh, an Apple iOS device, you can also move it over to. And once you've done that, you can then install some applications that might not be moved over completely. Uh, you can reinstall them using APK files, which is very easy to do and very straightforward. Now to talk more about that app gallery, which is very important if you're gonna be picking one of these up. Uh, with app gallery, you have loads of applications on there available to you. In fact, uh, there's more than 18 categories, including like news, social media, entertainment. Uh, you can also search it as well with a smooth browsing experience. So you can easily go up top, search for what you need, and it'll come up. And if it's not on there, you can add it to a wish list. And with that wish list, it means as soon as the application is available, which while we're investing a lot of money in, uh, it means you'll be able, you'll be notified when the application is available. But for me, all the applications that I use on a day-to-day basis, like uh, my Instagram, Twitter, uh, things like emails, browsing, all that stuff's available to me, I can do that. Even YouTube, I can go on the browser and just go on YouTube and watch videos if I need to do that. Onto the most important part for me, that camera and camera capabilities on the Huawei P40 Pro. It's amazing. I've come to expect that from Huawei devices, but the P40 Pro just steps it up a notch and just makes it slightly even much more better than say the predecessor. So what have we got here? We have a 40 megapixel ultra wide scenic camera lens uh, there, which is one 1.54 inch sensor. It's great in ultra low light uh, situation, for example. So it's great for ultra low light videos ultra slow motion videos, uh, uh, also good for telephoto videos as well. You got 4K time-lapse video available, uh, so you can, get, you can get that cinematic video camera experience if you're shooting, if you're a content creator like me out there. Next, we have a 50 megapixel ultra vision camera. So with this, you have a one 1.28 inch ultra vision sensor, and that uses the RYYB uh, color filter array that Huawei have been working on and perfecting over time. And what's also very good here is autofocus. So you get Octa PD autofocus. So you're not only just getting a face detect autofocus, but you're also getting that Octa section of it, which makes it really good. It's super quick. And it's also available on the front facing camera as well, which you don't really get on most smartphones out there. For those of you that like to zoom out there, you get 12 megapixel telephoto camera lens in here as well. With that, you can do five times optical zoom. You've got 10 times hybrid zoom and 50 times maximum zoom as well. I think at 10 times zoom, you get really good detail. And even at 50 times, you're still getting something that in some cases can be usable. It doesn't stop there though. You also got that 3D depth sensing lens, which is very good for shooting portrait mode, for example. So you get a studio experience when it comes to shooting portrait photography, which is something that I really enjoy doing as well. It gets that detail right. It gets the edge detection very right as well. Something that, again, not a lot of manufacturers can do very well, but this is very great using AI and using uh, all sorts of different software magic. The front facing camera as well is a 32 megapixel shooter with infrared uh, depth sensing as well. So again, it's great for shooting those uh, front facing uh, portrait photos. So again, you get a nice blurry background, nice bokeh shots, which is something that's really good as well. On that main camera, let's not forget night mode. It means you can capture really good uh, low light photography at nighttime. It looks near daytime when using that night mode. So it looks really good, comes out really sharp, uh, retains a lot of information and detail there as well. On the software area as well, you can also do hand gestures. So for example, if you want to take screenshots, you just have to do that. It recognizes your hand, do that, and it captures a screenshot of whatever you're looking at, which is really good. So what am I enjoying so far on the Huawei P40 Pro in uh, summary? I'm loving the camera so far, really good details. I'm, cap I'm capturing some really great photos on here so far. I love the design, looks really nice. It's actually one of the nicest devices to hold in hand as well, with all the nice curvatures uh, around in the right places as well. Software is really good in terms of user experience, very smooth, there's no hiccups at all in terms of processing power. You've got a large storage there as well with 256 gig, you can also expand that using a, a nano, nano micro SD card, uh, nano SD card. Uh, also, you've got a great front facing camera, so they haven't neglected that and just focused on the main cameras. 
It's IP68 water, water and dust resistant as well, so it's very robust in that sense. It comes with a case in the box, and uh, you got that 40 watt supercharge, which is very, very useful. And also wireless charging is quick as well, including if you wanna do reverse wireless charging, you can do that as well, it's also very quick. It's good for productivity. I've got all my apps uh, that I mainly use like photo editing apps like Snapseed, I've got Instagram, I've got Twitter, I can do my emails. Uh, I can do all the basics that I normally do, so there's no problems in terms of getting used to this and actually using this day to day. So in terms of availability, the Huawei P40 Pro uh, 8GB RAM with 256 gig of storage will retail for around £899 and we're launching the UK in black and this one here, which is a Silver Frost from places like Carphone Warehouse, Virgin Mobile and some selected retailers as well. And uh, you can also do that from three network in the UK. I've also teamed up with Huawei to give you a great offer as well. So if you order a P40 Pro between now and the 13th of April from the Huawei store, uh, you get a pair of Huawei FreeBuds 3 for free. What you have to do, simply add the P40 Pro and the FreeBuds 3 to your basket and use the code AGADGETSBOY at checkout. I'll leave all this information in the description area as well, so do check it out. This offer expires 13th of April and uh, terms and conditions apply. So that's it for the Huawei P40 Pro and what I'm loving so far uh, on this device. My experience so far in the last 10 days or so. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know as well. I'm still going to be using this as, as my daily driver and uh, hopefully by the end of the month I can bring you a review, uh, something more thorough in terms of my overall experience over time with it and how I find it in terms of uh, living with it over time as well. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe if it's your first time on the channel and uh, make sure you hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know when there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.